Hey everyone, hope you had a good week. We are in the final day of the third week of reading through the Bible in a year. Tonight's reading is Genesis chapters 38 through 40 and Mark chapter 15. We'll be focusing for this video on Genesis chapters 39 and 40. And poor Joseph, who first off, he gets sold into slavery by his brothers. Thanks guys. Um, and now he's trying to do the right thing by his boss and then by some prisoners that he ends up meeting in prison and he just can't catch a break. So in Genesis chapter 39, Potiphar's wife, who is Joseph's master, is trying to seduce Mr. Joseph into sleeping with her, but he continues to push away at her advances. But one day he again gets cornered and he runs off, but he leaves his cloak behind. And then Potiphar's wife uses that to say, hey, this slave that you have was trying to make a pass at me. And so he ends up in jail. So then he's in jail and he's doing all the right things. He earns the trust of the guard who basically puts him in charge of everything. And he's there with the cupbearer and the baker of Pharaoh who are in prison. And the two come to him with dreams and he interprets the dreams. So for the cupbearer, he interprets a dream and says he's going to be restored by Pharaoh. But he asks him when he is restored to tell Pharaoh about the good things he did so he can get out of prison. For the baker, he gives him some bad news that says he's going to be beheaded. And you notice that he didn't tell the uh, baker to tell Pharaoh, uh, hey, put in a good word for me, because I don't think the baker really cared for the interpretation that Joseph gave him. Well, the baker ends up beheaded, and the cupbearer ends up being restored, but naturally he forgets to mention to Pharaoh that Joseph did all these good things for him, and so Joseph stays in prison. So even though Joseph is doing all the right things, the man cannot catch a break. And this theme has really been central in Joseph's life. Now, maybe he was a little too cocky around his brothers that cause them to be very resentful. I feel like, you know, faking the brother's death and selling them off wasn't the most rational thing to do, but hey. But nowhere in here does it say he's doing the wrong things. As a matter of fact, Joseph is doing all the right things. He's trying to honor God in everything that he does. Now in the upcoming chapters, Joseph is gonna be rewarded for his patience and his faithfulness, but still, I can imagine in the moment, after all these things keep happening to him, that he would get pretty frustrated. And I can see how in our lives, when things don't go our way, we can get frustrated, even if we are being patient and we are showing faithfulness to God. Now, this isn't to say that God is going to reward us with great riches or anything like that. But what matters is that we live our lives in a way that is pleasing to God. And that can be tough. Like I've mentioned in previous videos, it's uncomfortable sometimes standing up for it because you're afraid of how people might react. And in some situations, in certain parts of the world, if you say that you're a Christian, you could be imprisoned or you could even be put to death. But whatever the circumstance may be, being faithful to God and doing the right thing is what matters the most. Even if it is really tough to do that, knowing that the outcome may not be favorable. Well, that wraps up week three. We'll start week four with Genesis chapters 41 and 42 and Mark chapter 16. Have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday.